basis. I wish me luck again. Longly Crawley Town, have caused a major upset in the FA Cup good, by knocking out Derby. That's and Rangers have okay. cruised through to the fifth Kettlebell round of the Scottish um, Cup with a 3 0 victory over Kilmarnock. Wish me luck. Two minutes. Short raises. Welcome right. to the programme, we'll bring you the action from Crawley shortly, but first, Liverpool's new caretaker manager, Kenny Dalglish, will be considered for the job on a permanent basis at the end of the season. The Liverpool legend took over from Roy Hodgson on Saturday, Again. and today appointed Steve Clark as first team coach. Our sports correspondent, Dan Rowan, was at Dalglish's press conference at Anfield, <clears> and he spoke to my colleague, Sean Fletcher, a little earlier on. He was playing down suggestions that uh, he may stay beyond the end of the season. And he's known as the caretaker king, isn't he? Because he's only been given a short-term contract by the club's owners until the summer. But I tell you, if he does really well, if he does manage to leave Liverpool out of their current malaise and engineer something of a recovery, then there'll be huge calls uh, from the Liverpool fans for him to stay. But you're right. Today he was making it clear that he would not to do a job until the end of the season, and that would be what he did. It's a big day for Dargmish earlier on. He held his first training session with the players. Of course, he presided over Hello. the yesterday to Manchester United in the FA Cup third round at Old Trafford. He hadn't had a time to talk about his work with his players on the training ground. He left for a different side. Alongside his new assistant, Steve Clark, who uh, was named the smaller as well. He's been strong. 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 He's for the first time in almost 20 years. A real sense of deja vu, of course, because we all remember back to the 80s, the left in the year 1991, after a huge round of success, both as player and as manager. In 91, we were all the champions, but times have changed, and now it's our week's job to engineer a recovery for this great club. This is what he had to say in his press conference a little earlier on. Too well that by taking this job, you put your legendary safety to help us put on the line to some extent. Quite the reverse, I'd have thought that I'd put it on the line if I never took it. Ooh, yeah. Obviously, I think it would be disrespectful. Big choice. And this football club is renowned. Uh, he finished in the middle one, he starts in the middle of the first. They rally around each other and help each other. Um, if, I, if I was to be true, it would be loved that I've spoken oh. many times. Uh, when I've spoken to the doctors in the football club, and you first in the football club, then I would have been great. I wish I if I do really well and there's somebody better than me from the world, I have no problem whatsoever, right? And I'm not going to talk about a job for the people who are doing I'm here to get help And the female part of the club is the same way as the manager, by the way, So I can't lift it. Kenny Darwin is talking to us a little earlier on in his press conference. Well, alongside him in the uh, Anfield Trophy Room is Damien Camoli, who of course is the director of football here at Liverpool. He's been brought in as well by oh, yeah, the, the owners. And what was fascinating to hear from him was that he believes that uh, his search for a permanent manager along.